What is up, Cryatics? In this video, we'll be customizing the Mammoth Patriot Stretch, aka the Hummer H2 limo. Very cool. And how many people don't know this? It's actually, believe it or not, it is a personal vehicle. Just like a normal personal vehicle, like a sports car, a Prius, any normal personal vehicle. You have a supercar. It acts as the same thing, like a Sand King or anything like that. So the base price is six eleven, and then if you have the trade price, you get the four sixty after doing uh, some missions. Alrighty, so here it is right here. I already bought it. And really quick, guys, if you guys would like a different perspective of customization for this car, my friend Eda underscore one two three four on his YouTube channel, he does post like a type of cinematic with some like examples of customization and all that with no commentary. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link to his video in the description down below. So obviously, based off a Hummer H2 converted into a uh, limo. And you can see here that I do have it in my uh, CEO garage. Pretty cool looking. And one thing I do want to mention is that the uh, back here. Let's see if it'll let me sit back here in the garage. There we go. The texture quality in here is absolutely horrendous. It is so bad, honestly. To me, this is like completely unacceptable from Rockstar. This is so lazy. I mean, look at that seat. It looks like it came out of GTA San Andreas. I mean, it's just really bad. Lighting on the ceiling. I mean, the champagne glass, the, that cabinet looks like total poop. I mean, this is probably one of the worst interiors we've gotten from a DLC vehicle in a long time. It is really, really bad, and I'm very disappointed. Just for that alone, I mean, you're buying this because it's a limo, and the limo part of it is really bad. So, what, what's the point? <laughs> Honestly. I guess that's why it's under a million dollars. Okay, now let's see the customization options it has. What can we do to it? Yeah, you got armor, brakes, bumpers. Okay, so we got the secondary front bumper and that chrome. I guess we'll do the secondary. Oh, rear bumpers. Secondary or chrome. Look at that, and it kind of like smoothens it out. Takes out the mammoth part. Think long and hard. The white. Engine, definitely exhaust. Okay, so this one, so it comes with like a side step, a really long side step. And then the exhaust coming out the rear there with a muffler. And it comes out of one side. And then you can do the exited chrome exhaust, which gives it to you both sides. Look at that. It's really cool. Kind of like the way it looks. Kind of looks like a um, one of those off-road side steps. If you don't look at the no rush at all. exhaust tips, <laughs> you just look at the ex the whole exhaust itself. Here you have the primary short exhaust. You have it on both sides, and the secondary colored version of that exhaust. So I'm gonna do the extended chrome exhaust. I think it looks really good. Hood. So you have so secondary trim. Lightweight trim, I guess like black Whatever or something. You Technology and, and then budget you have a chrome vanity hood, so you can see the engine there. Chrome sports hood, that looks pretty cool. You have a lightweight sports, oh, secondary and then lightweight. Looks pretty cool. Okay. I think I might do the. Uh, Life is hard when you can have anything. The chrome is just too much. I think I gotta do the lightweight vanity hood. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, let's do that. Horn. Yeah, truck horn on there. Headlights, definitely some xenons. Ooh, there's neon kits. Look at that. Normally, I don't put neons on vehicles, but I mean, this is a limo. I mean, anything goes with this, to be honest. Ooh, black light, that's cool. 
to the Black Lake. That what you were looking for? Okay. Oh, liveries, all right. We have basic camel. Hmm. Oh, well, these are just like recycled liveries from the uh, gun running DLC. The Doomsday Heist as well. Hmm. Just recycled liveries. Kind of disappointed. I wish they would have done maybe like um, a stripe going down the side, that right under the uh, the trim there on the door that says kind of like mammoth or something, or patriot, something like that. But I mean, they just gave us these crappy. I really don't like these liveries. I really don't, to be honest. It's kind of pointless. I mean, we've seen enough of this already. On the tank, on literally almost everything. How many cars you got in this garage again? Uh, so prevention plates, there know, it is. black, respray. So I am gonna paint this. Uh, it's a Hummer, so kind of like a throwback to like 2003. I'm gonna paint this in the uh, yellow. It looks really cool. Maybe we can do like a, uh, like a metallic yellow, like a yet race yellow for lesson. Hopefully, it doesn't change any of our vanity stuff. Do you need a drink? Oh, our front. Bubbles okay. Where is it? Where are you? Race yellow, yellow, work, and then the driver. race yellow Don't per lesson. There we pretty. go. Okay. Secondary would be so any of your secondary parts, and also the uh, the bottom portion of the bumper. Because I, I think I selected secondary for that. Yeah, I did. Oh, look at that, the door handle, too. Oh, well, the door handles. That one and the one in the rear. I don't see yeah, the suspension doing stressful. anything. The brake calipers are still red. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's just those couple things there. Unless I'm just going to paint it the same color. Looks almost as good as okay. Uh, trim color. Oh, you can actually paint this. Oh, so you can change the color of the lighting. That's interesting. Okay. I mean, kind of want to have like the blue lights in here. Yeah, I'll do the blue. Think long and hard. Crew emblem would be right there on the side of the door. Okay, roof mounted lights. Okay. Ooh, look at that. LED strip lights like the one from the Riata. Very cool. Definitely. Looking good. Suspension, you can lower this. Not sure why you'd want to lower the Hummer. I guess because it's a limo, but kinda like takes away from it. I'm gonna leave it stock ride height. Okay, so transmission, turbo. Well, I didn't even check what class this was in. I'm gonna check that afterwards. Stock. Well, you can definitely mess around with these. I think I'm gonna put some like SUV style wheels on this. Maybe these? Like black or something? No rush at all. Let's do these, and then we'll paint them black. Look at that. That looks pretty good. And we gotta do uh, bulletproof tires, Those definitely. Are almost indestructible. Okay, windows. Definitely gotta put limo tents out of limo. Come on. <laughs> You've got an eye for this stuff. All right, that's all of it there. Exit to ground. But I don't know how this thing drives, to be honest. They gave it the exact same sound from the ram regular mammoth. They didn't really do anything there. All right, it is in the. Get it? Solomon okay. asked us for a favor. Bruh. Some of his pals are out of town and want to come to the club. You got to jump in the chopper and go get them. Fucking hell! All right. Well, we'll have a sad Solomon on the deck. What is going on? There we go. 
Oh, the light bar doesn't work. Wow. It's in the SUV's class. It's in everybody's calling me now, Jesus. It's in the SUV's class. Very cool. But yeah, the light bar doesn't turn on. What is that? What is that crap, Rockstar? Come on. God, this thing is so slow. I mean, what do you expect of it? The Hummer is already heavy, and then <laughs> extending it makes it even heavier. Oh god, this thing doesn't turn. Understeer City. Ah. Look, I'll at least do some off road stuff, I think. Maybe. Yeah. yeah not too bad. Okay, imagine this thing will get caught everywhere, just like that. <laughs> Let's go back here and let's see something. I'm guessing the truck has to be on for these lights to work. Let's see. Bruh. Okay. Uh. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Oops, let me hop in the back. There we go. Now the lights are working. I think the lights is pretty much the only cool thing. To be honest. Alright, let's, let's see how many of the doors open here. That light bar not working really makes me mad. Alright, let's see. Look at that. Everything opens. Now that's badass. And this this hood opens just like a real Hummer too. Very cool. The engine there. Okay. Look at that. Everything opens up. That's very cool. Not too bad. I mean, it's pretty decent. Now, do I recommend this? Honestly, not really. There's too many broken things with it. There's all the liveries are kind of trash. Light bar doesn't work. I mean, it's in the SUVs class for some reason. I mean, it's a personal vehicle and all, but I mean, what are you gonna do with this? I mean, I guarantee you, it doesn't survive any explosives. Nope. So I mean, honestly, what's the point? You're just gonna be a moving target for somebody to kill you? <laughs> Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video of the uh, Mammoth Patriot Stretch. On this one, I kind of don't recommend buying it. I, I would stay away from this one and save your money. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.